General information on classroom design. Playroom for two-year-olds. Home corner is a pretend play area for cooking, cleaning, and dress up with various home and costume equipment. Art area contains paint supplies, paper, and various materials examples. Brushes, sponges, natural, and recycled pieces to paint with. General crafts contains play-doh and slime with materials to put onto them, such as cookie cutters, sticks, and various loose parts. Water play area is a water tub with sponges and containers as well as magic sand. Quiet corner is a resting area with blankets, bean bags, soft toys, and books. Natural loose parts contains various loose parts from the outside. Examples, bark, leaves, branches, and gum nuts. Junk loose parts are recycled loose parts that can be brought from home like containers, crumb, cardboards, and anything that is safe enough to use. When creating a playroom for young children, it's important to create a safe and fun environment where they can learn. Using the Reggio Emilia approach as an educator, I'm there to listen, observe, and take notes. I understand that children are constantly learning and developing and that they have prior knowledge before coming to a center, so it's important to communicate with the family and child to learn more. Reggio Emilia method takes great interest in incorporating natural materials into play, Benet 2017. Examples are including natural loose parts such as bark, leaves, and woods. This can help with Overall development, as we should see the child as a whole person instead of focusing on meeting milestones, because if we do this, we will focus on what they can't do instead of what they can. Loose parts help children grow creatively. The imagination that comes from making nothing into something as well as the open-ended play to create whatever they feel. An arts and craft area is also included so that children can express thoughts, emotions, and creativity in endless ways. Is this room, we wanted to create an environment where they feel comfortable and can explore, learn, and grow. Linking to the EYLF outcome 4, children are confident and involved learners, DET 2019, page 36. Sub-outcome children develop dispositions for learning such as curiosity, cooperation, confidence, creativity, commitment, uh, enthusiasm, persistence, imagination, and reflexivity. DET 2019, page 37. As an educator, I will provide learning environments that are flexible and open-ended, and the child will use play to investigate, imagine, and explore ideas. A rich space and varied environment supports child's development and learning. As according to DY, the child's own instincts and powers furnish the material and give a starting point for all education. So the classroom space design is focused on child-centered learning. The environment of the room provides both active and interactive education to the children as well as the involvement of the social world and the community through the nature loose parts and the home corner areas. Using the space, materials, and resources creatively provides open-ended play opportunities and learning experiences for children in early childhood setting. Engaging and interacting with other children educator through the play in different areas of the classroom space provides best learning opportunities and experiences which relates to device beliefs that true education comes through the stimulation of child's powers by demand of social situation in which they, he finds himself. The space is designed and configured influence how children feel, act, and behave. The physical environment of the early childhood setting allows growth and development through the activities and the materials in defined play areas. What a play promotes children with many opportunities to explore their senses and experience different sensory experiences. For example, a child can add materials like sand, soap, and slim into water. And this allows children to put their hands in different textures like slimy and slippery. Also, this can experience about water temperatures. And children, uh, this also supports children language development, cognitive and cross motor fine skills, and also it can promote social interaction among them. Uh, this is emphasized in the Montessori uh, theory, whereby she believed that children can learn based through sensory experiences. She thought that she teaches us a responsibility to provide a wonderful sights, textures sounds and smell for children this can be found in page 29 of theories of children second edition